morning guys and girls today we're going to be talking about a species that you don't really get up here by our side but it is very popular in the cape very popular with the competitive anglers as well because they get a lot of points from them um, due to their weight now this of course is the seven gill cow shark now in south africa and in southern africa itself you get about four different cow shark species but the only one we really catch in, in, or what's really important to us in terms of conventional angling is the the seven gill cow shark. Now that is Notorhynchus sepidianus is the scientific name. So in case you're looking. The shark itself is quite a robust shark. Um, almost cartoon-like in looking. It's, it's quite an interesting, interesting looking shark. They've only got one dorsal fin and that sits right right back. So instead of your normal shark where it's got the dorsal almost in the middle. This one sits dorsal fin right, right at the back, actually very close to the tail. Normal standard peck fins, they're an overall sort of grayish color. They can go almost rusty sometimes in, in color. And they've got fine little spots all over them with a, a lighter stomach on the bottom. Teeth-wise, they've got a good set of teeth on there. Um, more plate-like than your normal standard teeth, but they, they still got proper, proper gnashes. They get the name Seven Gill, uh, seven gill cow shark because it actually got seven gill slits along the, uh, along the side like that so you, you get a six gill as well um, so it's all the way along they got a fairly large eye um, I say fairly large for their size it's actually quite a small eye um, but because they they do grow fairly large you can get bigger anyway maturity wise they mature the females around about two meters the males a little bit less than that as always the males normally mature a bit quicker they can actually get to over three meters in length and like 180 kilos but you're normally catching them about 60 kilos and under it's normally that that sort of smaller feistier size the one very interesting thing about them is they have huge huge litters so they produce um, they pup their, their pups out or you get between 60 and over a hundred pups so I mean that is a gigantic amount of, of, of young so that's the good thing about that is that they produce a lot of young sort of a bigger try to, to try and produce as many young to get into the future now you're gonna get them from Namibia up to East London um, and you do get them in some other moderate and temperate seas around the world. They're not the strongest of sharks, but they do put up a good go because they try and twist and turn quite a bit. But it's not like a smoothie or a, a gully shark. Um, the one thing you do have to be careful when you've landed them, they are fairly um, flexible. So if you're holding him by his tail, he can actually twist around and bite his tail. So you do need to be very careful and you will, if you walk around him like that, he actually follows you with his eye as you walk like that, which is kind of cool but also creepy at the same time. Food-wise, they eat anything. <laughs> they even scavenge on whale and seal meat. Uh, often down there you're going to get them, they, they, when, they, when the seals and whales die, um, they're going to sit on the bottom and rot away and he'll come and he'll happily eat away some of that meat. Otherwise, yeah, uh, fish, any of the fish you're going to get there, um, crustaceans, octopus, mussels, any of that stuff he's, he will eat. So um, they're very flexible with their diets and things like that. In terms of targeting them, generally your bigger bloody baits, um, similar to the sharks up here, nice a mullet head with some cutlets on the outside, a nice big macroid sada head, something like that. Um, the bigger you go, obviously the bigger, the more traction you're going to have. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a shark you're going to find in the kelp forests, on, along the ledges, things like that. Um, somewhere where you can hide for a bit of protection, um, but also where there's a lot of food. So you're going to really look for those those areas where you can find in the potholes and things like that, a bit of, bit of a deeper spot in amongst the, the working water. So yeah, seven gill cow shark, very interesting shark. Um, look them up, put them on your list. Uh, definitely worth targeting when you're down in the Cape. Cheers, guys. Thank you.